What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. It's crazy here in the United States here. The Senate and the House have passed multiple different bills here going on here. And uh, yeah, Senator Bernie Sanders calls one of the bills extortion. And he's not happy about it because one of the bills is going to cost a reported $76 billion. And uh, he actually says that this is something that America needs, but we should not be writing a blank check for it. And he says that this money could go to the people in a much better form. I'll let you hear directly from him. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. This way you won't miss out on new videos that come out here on our YouTube channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click the bell icon that appears after you subscribe so you get notifications and don't miss out on new videos. And if you find these videos helpful, don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. All right, here we go. Okay, first up, multiple different Democrat lawmakers and congresswomen were arrested here. You can see here uh, at an abortion rights rally outside the Supreme Court. Yeah, you can see here Democrats uh, Presley, Omar, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, Rashida Tlaib were all arrested outside an abortion rights rally outside the Supreme Court. Uh, yeah, uh, AOC and Ilhan Omar, among lawmakers, arrested during the abortion rights rally outside the Supreme Court. And yeah, you can see a picture of AOC being arrested here and, um, you can see a police officer kind of here in the background. There's actually two people here. And uh, her being escorted away during a protest. Yeah. Here are the details. Let me know your thoughts here on this. We're seeing protests all across the country on a lot of different things right now as things are really heating up here. Uh, before the midterm elections on gun safety, abortion rights. Uh, now, um, uh, they just passed a bill in the House on, uh, I'll show you here, a bill protecting marriage equality with 47 Republican members voting yes as well and all the Democrats voting yes. But it now needs to go to the Senate. I cover that and another, a couple other things here in the previous video if you want to see the details on that. Um, because, uh, yeah, LBGTQ, same sex marriage, and all these things are at risk as well as the Supreme Court looking to overturn that. And birth control, they're going to be voting here on that as well. But as you can see here, multiple Democratic lawmakers were arrested at an abortion rights rally near the Capitol on Tuesday, less than one month after the Supreme Court issued a ruling that reversed Roe v. Wade. Democrats' representatives Ilhan Omar, Alana Presley, Jackie Spire, Bonnie Watson Coleman, Rashida Tlaib, Cori Bush, uh, Catherine Clark, Andy Levin, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Alma Adams, and Veronica Escobar from Texas, uh, and Carolyn Maloney were all among those apprehended at the demonstration, which included a, a march from the Capitol to the Supreme Court. The U.S. Capitol Police wrote on Twitter here, we have already given our standard three warnings. Some of the demonstrators are refusing to get out of the street, so we are starting to make arrests. They then followed up with, the first street is now open again. The demonstration is clear. We made a total of 34 arrests for crowding, obstructing, or inaccommodating. The arrest number includes 16 members of Congress. And then it says, correction, we made a total of 35 arrests. 
Um, let me go back here. We made a total of 35 arrests and includes 37, or I'm sorry, 17 members of Congress. Yeah, I actually just seen this. Um, a transportation White House Secretary Pete Buttigieg says it's 2022 and 157 House Republicans just voted against marriage equality. That's where they come down on this issue in 2022. Let me know your thoughts here on this. Uh, Carolyn Maloney, who was arrested, one of the congresswomen from New York, said in a statement after she was arrested, there is no democracy if women do not have control over their own bodies and decisions about their own health care, including reproductive care. The Republican Party, this is her quote, the Republican Party and the right-wing extremists behind this decision are not pro-life, but pro-controlling the bodies of women, girls, and any person who can become pregnant. Their ultimate goal is to institute a national ban on abortion. We will not let them win. We will be back. Uh, Veronica Escobar, Congresswoman from Texas, said, quote, she proudly standing in front of, in defense of abortion access and in reproductive freedom in front of the Supreme Court. The Secret Service turned over a single message that was deleted from their text messages uh, in the January 6th panel. The single text message that they turned over from their deleted text messages was, quote, I smell a rat. Yeah, so this was the only text message the Secret Service turned over to the House Committee in investigating the January 6th attack on the Capitol after the Secret Service has admitted that they have deleted text messages. But lawmakers on the panel are increasingly confused and irritated by the lack of messages from the Secret Service after it subpoenaed the records following a letter from the government watchdog indicated the messages had been erased during a device replacement program. Uh, Representative Stephanie Murphy, from a Democrat from Florida, says, quote, that's all we have. A source close to the Secret Service previously told The Hill that Sund had contacted the Secret Service on January 6th requesting assistance. Quote, that message was captured and it was turned over. The Secret Service has denied that it maliciously deleted any text messages but said that some data was lost during a system migration. You can let me know your thoughts on that. Agency spokesman Anthony Gugliami said Secret Service policy prohibits using text messages due to security concerns, but that the initial 20 agents whose records were requested did not have phones impacted by the migration. They're hopeful that they will be able to recover more of these deleted texts Quote, my hope is that the Secret Service will use their forensic data capabilities to recapture the text that we have requested and comply with the subpoena. I think the information they provided us to date leaves a lot of questions regarding their process for data retention. And uh, chair, chairmen and chairwomen from the uh, January 6th panel, including Republican Liz Cheney, are saying that the Secret Service may have violated the law with, quote, erased text messages. So we will see what happens with that. The Senate voted to advance the CHIPS bill, also known as the China Compete Act, However, Senator Bernie Sanders calls it extortion as the bill has now grown to potentially $76 billion. And he says that this bill could be used for money for the American people as opposed to corporate welfare. You can see this headline here. Senators are advancing a computer chips bill. They don't even know what's in it yet. <laughs> this is a bipartisan bill, 
Uh, even Bernie Sanders will say this is something that our country needs, but there's a lot of problems with this bill. Yeah, so they have voted to advance it. It's not fully passed in the Senate yet. Uh, it needs to go to the final vote here. Here's what Senator Bernie Sanders has to say. Let me know your thoughts on this. We'll be able to convince his Republican colleagues and Democratic colleagues as well that among many other reasons why we should vote against this major corporate welfare bill that's coming down the pike, which will add at least $76 billion to the deficit. So if we are concerned about the deficit, as Senator Lee is and many others are, I hope that will be one of the reasons we vote against this massive corporate welfare bill that we will be considering later this afternoon. You know, I hear a lot of concern about the deficit here in the Senate, and I hear people say, we can't afford to feed hungry children, can't afford to deal with climate change, we can't afford to guarantee health care to all. Deficit is very, very large. Well, we're talking about $76 billion, at least that, maybe more, which will add to the deficit. So when you consider the deficit, you might want to also take into account tax breaks and corporate welfare for large, profitable corporations. Mr. President, uh, I want to say a few words about this so-called CHIPS bill and what it says about our national priorities, what it says about our tax policies, and basically what it says as to whether or not the U.S. Congress is capable of representing the needs of working families or whether we are totally beholden to wealthy and powerful corporate interests and their campaign contributions. Last week when I spoke about this issue, I expressed deep concern that Congress would provide $52 billion to a handful of profitable corporations in the microchip industry with no strings attached. Here it is, guys, $52 billion. Well, I stand corrected. As a result of some new tax reduction language, the corporate welfare total for the microchip industry has gone up. It is now at $76 billion. <clears throat> and the corporate lobbyists working on this bill, like pigs at the trowel, are not yet finished. They want more and more and more. Their needs are insatiable. Mr. President, needless to say, I do not usually quote approvingly from the editorial page of the Wall Street Journal. They are not my best friends, and in fact, I think I get attacked on that page more than any other member of the Congress. But as you know, a broken clock is right twice a day, and even the Wall Street Journal got this one right. Among the many reasons they urge Congress to vote against this bill is one that I think is very relevant, and let me quote. This is from the Wall Street Journal editorial page today. Quote, the chip bill isn't needed to compete with China, and it will set a precedent that other industries will follow. Anybody who can throw up a China competition angle will ask for money. Why Republicans want to sign up for this is a mystery, end of quote, Wall Street Journal. And the point they make is a good one. We should be clear that over 90% of the cell phones used in this country, over 90% of the laptops used in this country are made in China. So you pass this bill, and tomorrow we'll hearing, I no doubt, from the cell phone industry, from the computer laptop industry, about how they need their welfare checks as well. 
So I think the Wall Street Journal, every once in a while, makes a good point. Today they did. Yeah. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I don't know, man. I just, I just feel like he's he's right yet again. I, again, he's an independent. He's not a Democrat. He's not a Republican. He just kind of looks at situations and. Uh, you know, he mentioned previously that, uh, you know, we do need computer chips to be made here in the United States. He says they are being made here in the United States. More and more companies are making them here in the United States, uh, but they're extremely profitable. They're extremely profitable. They're making uh, really, really good profits and really good profit margins. So do we need to just give them $76 billion of taxpayer money on top of the really good profitable money that they're already making should we just give them a blank check of 76 billion dollars i mean think about how much money that is 76 billion dollars that's a lot of money that could be used for a lot of other things here um i mean when we look at the money that went out to states and cities uh states cities and counties from the last stimulus checks uh, that was $350 billion. So that's almost like about a quarter, just what meant a rough, quick mental math here of uh, the money that went out to states, cities, and counties uh, just for this one industry, just for the computer chip industry. That's almost a quarter, 25% of the entire amount of money that we sent out for the whole United States of stimulus money for all 50 states that they want to give to just this one computer chip industry. Think about how many different industries there are in the whole country. And remember, you hear all the time, all the time, oh, we got to worry about the deficit. Oh, we can't just print money. Oh, we can't just give out money here, this, that, and the other way, right? But then they they do in in forms of this type of stuff. So when you hear that, oh, we can't have enough, you know, when you hear, I mean, you hear this from certain types of people and certain groups of people and that, oh, you know, a fourth stimulus check shouldn't go out because of inflation. I mean, I, you know, you hear this from certain different type of people, right? Well, they are giving money to corporations and huge groups of, I mean, Corporate welfare is what Senator Bernie Sanders has said. By the way, he, that um, speech of his goes it goes on for like twenty minutes. Okay, I, I, I'm not gonna. You can look it up on YouTube if you want. Uh, it's on his YouTube channel, actually, Senator Bernie Sanders. Um, if you want to look it up, but um, yeah. So the thing is, is that um, do we want to give corporate welfare to corporations that are already making millions and billions of dollars, or should we give it to the people? who aren't making billions and millions of dollars, people that are literally struggling just to put food on the table. Food on the table. You know, think about things like the child tax credits that aren't even, that haven't even been passed this year. Um, millions of children have gone back into poverty because they haven't been able to pass it this year. Uh, think about the Social Security raise that is a bill in Congress that uh, they want to pass this year. They, are, they need more votes to get it to pass. They're trying to shore up the votes to pass it, uh, to raise Social Security by $2,400 more this year uh, per year, and to raise the uh, limit or raise the floor of Social Security to uh, $1,415 per year will be the minimum benefits. Uh, think about things like that. Think about raising SNAP benefits, food benefits, uh, think about like just the $76 billion alone, what they could do with that. Just going to this one industry. Think about how many different type of things like this get passed all the time. Think about like the, the $40 billion that went to Ukraine. Now, don't get me wrong. I personally think that like we need to... We needed to send some type of stuff to Ukraine. A lot of that actually went in the form of like like defense materials, right? Uh, weapon materials and stuff, right? So, you know, you, you really can't, in my opinion, let a, a dictator like, uh, <laughs> I almost said Hitler. I almost <laughs> kind of really not wrong there. Uh, but Putin, you know, just kind of kill millions and millions of innocent women, children, and, and people over there. 
uh, which is what's happening. You, they're actually just defending themselves. So, um, but remember, the U.S. is not the only country doing that. Um, and yeah, we've sent forty billion dollars over there. Um, it, again, mostly in in the form of defense, you know, it, you know, military materials, right? Um, in comparison, the last stimulus package alone was one point nine trillion. Okay, um, just to kind of put that in comparison there. But you really could just kind of kind of think here uh, how many different things are still needed by Americans. And with inflation, how, how bad it is right now. Um, I'll keep you up to date here with everything in our country. So make sure to click the subscribe button down below to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on new videos coming out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll let you know the truth of what's going on here in our country on a daily basis. So click the bell icon uh, after you subscribe to get notifications. When we go live, new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in fact, you can click this video here to see new money that is going out to SNAP benefits, pandemic EBT benefits, and uh, for food assistance. And this video is for 20 different states or more that are going out for stimulus checks here soon and more coming out. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.